Hello, everybody, and welcome back to WWTF. We want to fight the game show, Mike C. I'm Fred Watt, and we got a special guest right here. This is Little What? That's right, that's right. So, uh, we all just saw Wonder Woman, and we're about to give our review. Our rating, too. <laughs> Greatest last review. But uh, well, before we start talking about it, as always, we like to give it a number of facts. So, Mike, let's start off with you. How many facts do you give Wonder Woman? Um, I, give, I would give it a five out of five. Five out of five. Mike, I mean, facts. Actually, I would give Wonder Woman a four out of five, Fred. Uh, Mike, and I'm going to give it a three out of five. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> Little Mike, you can start out with you. How, how come you gave it a perfect rating? Because during the end, she learned like a life lesson. Basically, for like, if you want to save a lot of people, even though you can't, but you try to save as many as you can as well okay so you liked it because it was a life lesson which is pretty good it was pretty good um i gave it a four out of five because it, it filled a lot of blanks let's say as far as why wonder woman is the way she is i won't spoil it all for you but it makes a lot of sense now how she can do all the things that she could do like superman you know so i really appreciate them up there telling us that story it was a story so just Going to that, it's just not all action. There is a story behind it about love and loss, and you know the purpose of of why people do the things they do and everything like that. So I really did like that with the story. Granted, it was a little slow on some parts. That's why I can give it a five out of five. But it all in all, it was a good story. It explained a lot about Wonder Woman, um, and and I liked it. Uh, she did a real good job as Wonder Woman. The action sequences was awesome. Uh, she really kicked some butt. So on to you, Fred. Um, everything that you two said, uh, the reason why I gave it such a low rating is because it, it just took a long time to get to where it was going. Um, generally, when you do movies like that, people lose, tend to lose interest. And I was sitting beside a couple, and they were, you know, complaining half the time, like, this movie's too long, uh -huh. you know, this movie is boring. Um, if you're not a DC fan, if you're not a superhero fan, uh, I don't think that you will get this movie. Yeah. I don't think that you would appreciate the movie for what it is. Granted, it took a long time to get there because they tried to put as much detail as they could into how Diana became known as the legend. It just took a long time to get there. Like I said, I appreciate the fact how they did it, but it was just, it's like, okay, where the action? And the action wasn't all over the place. It was like in between spots. And, but when it did happen, it happened. And it happened real good. It looked real excellent. The, uh, the animation was top notch. Uh, the, the comedic parts in it was really, really good. I think they didn't overly do, uh, do it. I think that they did they kept, it and, and kept it going, man. They really kept the DC tone of it, you know what I'm saying? I tell you, and, and, and that's what I like about DC. DC is more dark, Marvel is more sunny and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. But DC, they kept that DC type of vibe with it. So I really appreciate it. It seemed like all these films are happening in the same universe as far as with DC. So yeah, uh, I enjoyed Wonder Woman. And also as a filmmaker, I like the way that they did their intro. You know, like Marvel has this intro, mm -hmm. where DC now has their intro. Yes, they show yes. Superman, the characters. Batman, yes, and all that yes. other stuff. I really like that. I, I really like that, yes, man. yes, that was pretty cool, that was pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do the final verdict. Final verdict. Mike and Junior Mike C, is this a movie ticket or an Netflix? Jason would be going to the movies. So movie ticket. Movie ticket for him. Movie ticket for me too. A uh, movie ticket for me as well. Yeah, Mike, let's see that job, man. Yeah. Hey, DC, DC movies, yeah. But like Fred says, if you're not really involved in this universe, it might not be the movie for you. Right. So there it is. Anything else? Ah, that's about it, man. Okay, so like always, uh, thank you guys for uh, tuning in. Thanks, little Mike C, for coming in and helping out with your review. 
I wonder what she gave a five out of five, so he really enjoyed it. So also plus two, he stayed up the whole movie, so he didn't fall asleep. And so, I didn't go to the bathroom, surprised. Yeah, so. yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so he stayed up through the whole movie and enjoyed it. So like always, you guys can hit us up at the game show, gmail.com. That's the game show with the name. Don't forget to help the Facebook store page for our Lolo Price products. Don't forget to hit us up on VTime. And don't forget to subscribe to the Games Club member. Please remember to like, subscribe, and follow all our social media networks. Join our Steam West community and our website community where you can get some free stuff. Right. And we'll see you next time on WWTF. We want the facts. The gaming show. See you next time. Keep watching. Thanks to the end.